Hello again. Um, I'm aiming to construct a doublet antenna for use on the short wave band. So, for those who don't know, what is a doublet and why use one? Um, I don't want to give an in-depth lecture on this video. Um, what I'll do is put up a link in the text for anyone who's interested in a detailed description. Uh, for the moment, just think of it as two Marconi L's. One there, one there. And they're working back to back. So the signals in the horizontal elements will add, and the pickup in the down lead will cancel out. The result should be a lot less noise, uh, which is a constant problem to anyone who's listening on the short wave bands. The antenna will be constructed from two 25 foot lengths of PVC wire. I'm going to use lolly sticks for the spreaders on the down lead and PVC piping for the spacers between the lolly sticks. And it's all going to be tied together with garden string. Normally the down lead would connect to a ballon, but as I'm going to test it with a KRC5, that won't be necessary. The KRC5 has an internal ballon. Um, I'll put up a later, I'll put up a video later. Um, of how to construct a ballon and demonstrate it working with some other receivers. For the moment, I'm going to go away and drill off some lolly sticks to use those as spreaders. So keep watching. I've pre drilled some lolly sticks to provide the spacers for the down lead on this area and started off measuring 10 foot in from each end. And the first spacer was made from a piece of garden cane. I'm going to use lengths of PVC watering pipe to make the other section of the ladder. So these should go up from each separator to keep the wires at a uniform distance. So they get threaded in from the bottom end of the aerial. It's all quite easy. They come up to here. And then you thread up one of these sticks. There you go. So that becomes the first spreader. And you just keep going until you've got the whole down lead. Um, the total wire length is about 25 feet. So that gives me two 10 foot whiskers and about 15 feet of down lead should be adequate. Oh, it's garden string I've used on the end there. Everything is quite basic, you know, the materials that you find around the house. It really is quite easy to make a wire aerial. Aerials don't have to be difficult or high tech. And the two leads should feed in the back of the KRC5. We've got antenna 1 and antenna 2 and a ground connection in the centre. And the idea is that the doublet aerial will reduce the noise level. The noise in the feeder coming down should cancel out. So that's the end of the ladder, uh, I've just tied that off, um, which is my down lead, and I'm going to take that under the shed window and connect it up to the back of the KRC5. So that's my receiver all set up, connected to the aerial. Uh, it's cleared a little area in the shed here. A couple of batteries ready to go in. I'm going to wait till after dusk and give it a try and record to the. Over 
And that's so, if I'm beaming to America and something in Europe calls me, I can flick a switch in the shack here and it will automatically switch to the dipole, which of course is, um, they've got no front to back. Uh, so the signal goes up invariably. Uh, and it's a quick way of handling that situation. Uh, so there we are. It saves having to turn the beam round, which uh, in a compass takes forever or so. It appears to take about 30 seconds in reality, but uh, in that time you could have worked two or three QSOs, and you know, so it does appear to be forever if you turn it round. Oh, uh, um, yeah, okay. First of all, down. Um, what else is there? Not, not a lot, really. <coughs> Sorry about the top, because I've got the remnants of a cold. So back to you, uh, David. Cross, you three young, young David. G3YYD, I'm Well, I have learned something this evening. I guess that's what the hobby's all about, then. That's very, very interesting, David. Thank you very, very much for taking time to explain that to me. I certainly feel your pain uh, when it comes to drilling, uh, drilling spaces for uh, Last May, I think it was, uh, we had the outside of the house uh, technicians to go in for a two-story Victorian thing here. And uh, uh, whilst the home of the house was scaffolded, it didn't seem like the right thing to do just to take the opportunity to uh, sort of all sorts of aerial issues out. Uh, I mean, just from two metres down, uh, the two metre antennas up on the, up on the chimney, so uh, uh, getting on to those well. When we moved all the house and moved in, I had to uh, hire some
towards the south, the land is much flatter, so I don't get so much advantage uh, on the southern side, to put it, but on the northern side, the land does slope away uh, in the downward direction for quite a long distance. So that's the doublet aerial uh, on 80 metres, working with a KRC5 and A8 speaker amplifier. Thank you for watching.